Hello everyone. So this is lead code week one day three. The problem is find the repeated substring pattern. Okay, they are given a non-empty substring uh, up to length up to length ten thousand, and you have to find out if it's possible that this string could be generated by taking a small part of it and repeating it continuously. Like here, if you take A B and repeat it continuously, you will generate A B A B. Here, if you take A B C and you repeat it continuously. You will generate A B C A B C A B C A B C, right? Here, there is nothing that you can use to generate A B A. You can split it into A and A A A. Repeating A is wrong. A B repeating A B is wrong. You cannot generate this by repeating any pattern. Now, there are a few things that we notice in this problem. Okay, even I, you know. So what happens is the string, if it's made of a repeating pattern, okay, then that means this pattern. would first of all uh, if you take this pattern okay this pattern and i remove it from the front and i put it at the back what will happen the string will remain same so great that means we can look at rotations so a easy solution would be uh, keep rotating the string if at any time the rotation is same as the original value you got your answer make sense so that's one way you could do this So now there's a old trick for rotation problems, right? If the assume the length is three, then what will happen? We'll get the same string back after three rotations. For example, you rotate this three times. Okay, take the A from the front, put it in the back. Take the B from the front, put it in the back. Take the C, put it in the back. You got back the string. So there's a trick in rotation problems such as find the lexicographically smallest uh, rotation of a particular string or find If uh, any rotation of this particular string is equal to another string, so in these rotate generate all the rotations of a string. What we do in these rotation problems is we take the string, we concatenate it with itself. So okay, let's do that. Let's take the string and merge it with itself. So now that's what we have. Okay. Now inside this again, if you think of a sliding window. Right, you might notice. So, okay, the original string. What was the length? Here, it was length four. Right. So, let me make a window of size four. Now, in this window, what will happen is, every time I move this window, I'm getting a new rotation of the string. I'll remove that uh, quote, or I'll just let it go like that. Every time I move this window, so this is. Zero rotations. This is one rotation. Where, wait, size four. This is zero rotations. This is one rotation. This is two rotations. This is three rotations, and this is back to zero rotations because modulus. So like that ring, if you know about that ring. So forget that. So that's how we find all the rotations. Okay, we can just. concatenate the string with itself and then move a window now you may be wondering okay uh, how will this help us so notice over here okay nothing over here you got the original string back if we are getting the original string that means that that original string was made of some kind of pattern which will be this uh, left out elements ab right the original string would be made of those left out elements let's look at the next example here the size is 3 So great. One rotation, is it the same? No. Two rotations, is it the same? No. And the last one, of course, it will be the same because you done three rotations. So basically, you don't have to check the first uh, zeroth rotation. So you don't have to check this first window, and you don't have to check the last window if it is made of a repeating substring. So B A no, A A B no. So this would be false. Let's look at the next one. Uh, this is going to be a big window, but don't worry, the answer will come quickly in three steps. first you have this the original string this is not to be checked now is this equal to the original string okay i have a b no so it's not equal is this equal not equal is this equal exactly this one is this equal yeah it's equal so what happened was great we found our answer now the complexity of checking this manually right like uh, first concatenate Okay, so that's one linear operation. Then you take this window and you keep moving it. So again, it's the linear operation. 
and every time inside the window you're checking so you're checking the values again you will think that's a linear operation right uh, if you notice that the first abc that we got right the pattern so it would only go k times one two three but still that makes it a linear operation because if k is really big right if the pattern is half then you would have n by two windows you would keep moving it if the pattern was like abc abc so the length is six pattern is three so you would go three so again this would become an n square solution okay searching for this searching for this but as we all know there are lots of uh, famous algorithms for string pattern matching you have KMP algorithm, you have Robin Karp, you have all these different algorithms, right? Bayer Moore, and you can use these algorithms to find in linear time. So concatenate string with itself. Now you don't want to consider the first first uh, iteration and the last one. Simple. Let's delete the last letter. Okay, so that it doesn't get considered the last rotation in the window, and let's delete the first letter. And now we search if we find the original string over here found it found it so that means it's possible right same so our algorithm would be first i want all rotations so as in all the different rotation problems concatenating with myself will help me okay concat with self So I'll make my new one, I'll call it rotations string equals to s plus s. Great, that's out of the way. Now remember, I will find the original string over here, okay, since I did s plus s, but if I remove, if I delete here, let's go to the first example. If I delete the first a and the last b, then I will not find the s plus s that I included, okay. This original s i've removed the first letter and the so this one i'll remove the first letter so i'll lose the original s and here i'll remove the last letter so i'll lose the original s but still if an s is able to be formed that means after rotating this substring after rotating this string you have a repeating pattern so let's do that wrote dot and also i think uh, we can write it like this one yeah i could just put a s dot size into two over there minus two correct now forget that minus three mi minus two so we got it now let's just see if we've got it and also now what was the next step you have to just find for the original string inside this now pattern matching is uh, there are lots of algorithms and that's a problem in itself. You have Robin Carr, KMP, KMP and all these algorithms. So I'll use the inbuilt one over here. Okay. So if you find it, okay, if wrote dot find s. Uh, please note this inbuilt one has a complexity of uh, small substring into big substring. So m into n. It's not linear time. But just let's see if our solution is working. So if this rotation dot find. Uh, it's not equal to rotation dot n. So basically, if you find this substring s inside our new string rotation, okay, great, you found him. Return, can you guess what will return? True. Else, return false. Now I'll just run it to see whether we're like, getting the correct string. Removing the last two digits. Unknown name type string. So I wrote sting, okay. Now, uh, Robin Karp, I'll explain in a few th words. So, remember the problem, find the elements that have a sum of k in an array. So, what you do is, you go over this entire window, okay, and when you're moving right, you will minus the value of b, the ASCII value of b, you will minus from the total sum, and you will add the ASCII value of this element that you're including, c. So, at any time, if this sum of elements, so basically, you don't just add elements in Robin Karp, use a rolling hash so you'll add elements do modulus and multiply or something like that but in such a way that you can add and remove in constant time so then any time when your hash value of the window is equal to the hash value of the original string it's a success that's a whole nother problem just we'll just use find over here uh, invalid options string 
ओके अनसाइड चा नॉर्मल इटरेटर ओके ओके आई थिंक इट वुड बी एन पॉस या सो आई गोट टू डू दिस प्रॉपरली ए बी ए बी I took the string twice. I removed the last b and I removed the first a. But still, I found the string inside this. Still, I was able to find the substring. So that means there's some pattern that is repeating because that repeating pattern was taken from this side and this side, right? Since I cut the first element of the pattern and the last element here, so the pattern had to be a repeating pattern because some of the other rotation, except for the zeroth rotation, was equal to the string itself. Just think of this as. generating all the rotations okay except the original uh, zero rotations and that's it guys thanks for watching <laughs> it's accepted don't worry it's accepted yeah and the times also quite good let's see inbuilt find is not linear time but there is a linear time find as well yeah 89% so this is one of the normal solutions that Again, I used inbuilt find, but if you don't use inbuilt find, you can get a linear time uh, checking for the substring, right? Such as keeping a rolling hash or something like Robin Car or KMP as well. So that's the logic. The, this is the most simple logic. Okay, there are some other ways also you could generate the rotations and all using two pointers maybe, but this is the best one. Whenever you're given a problem where you imagine that rotation would help you out, just concatenate with yourself so that you can then slide the window and generate all rotations. Thanks, guys. Let's do the next problem tomorrow.